In 2006, as president of the National Association of Evangelicals, Ted Haggard preached about the sinfulness of homosexuality and keeping secrets while he was smoking crystal meth and engaging in sex with a male prostitute. Haggard's congregation wasn't thrilled. He was forced to resign, and he voluntarily apologized to anyone who would listen. In our number two story, talking about the fiasco with the Wall Street Journal today, Haggard revealed that all the apologies he offered for his sordid scandal resulted in over-repenting. Trying to get a new, all-inclusive church off the ground, Haggard told the journal, quote, Tiger Woods needs to golf. Michael Vick needs to be playing football. Ted Haggard needs to be leading a church. Haggard now describes the sex he had with a male prostitute as a massage that went awry. And he says the ensuing apologies for his deception and hypocrisy on Oprah, Larry King, and elsewhere went too far. According to Haggard, I over-repented. So the preacher now apparently has some extra sinning to do that he's already repented for. Or maybe he can transfer that balance to me since I have a tendency to under-repent for my sins. Whatever the outcome, Haggard's remarks make his original apology truly worthy of retroactive inclusion into the new over-repenter's wing of the Countdown Apology Hall of Fame. It's written in the Bible. All right, so we don't have to debate about what we should think about homosexual activity. It's written in the Bible. Do you think you owe gay people an apology? Absolutely. And I do apologize to all the pain, all the rejection, all the hurt I caused those men and women, gay and lesbians. I'm deeply sorry for the attitude that I had. Wow. Well, that is simply unacceptable, and Miss Sherrod must resign immediately. So I owe Miss Sherrod an apology for not doing my homework. I did take a banned substance, and, um, you know, for that, uh, I'm very sorry. A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab. I regret that. It was not my intention, and I certainly didn't mean to associate the word terrorist in any way with Senator Obama. The past two years have been hard on all parties involved. Again, I offer my deepest apology, and I challenge you to read a book. I'm sorry I did it. I'm sorry it offended people. Personally, I didn't think it would have offended anyone. And oh, hell. You know, if it did, you know, we apologize. I am sorry. So, so sorry so that those mistakes... those Iraqis who were mistreated by members of the U.S. Armed Forces, I offer my deepest apology. I apologize to anybody that's been brought into this unnecessarily. On a Monday, I'm Unfortunately, the whole thing went wrong in the end. I am really sorry. I know that my public comments and my silence about this matter gave a false impression. I misled people, including even my wife. I'm so sorry. I love my wife so much. In order to be a racist, you have to feel superior. I don't feel superior to you at all. I don't believe any man or any woman is superior to any but other. But did you man. always hold that view? I think I did. I feel really bad for Nancy, and I feel really lucky that it wasn't me. What the hell were you thinking? I think we know in life uh, pretty much what's a good thing to do and what's a, b a bad thing. And um, I did a bad thing, and there you have it. Yes. That I have behaved badly sometimes. And those people that I have offended, I want to say to them, I'm deeply sorry about that and I apologize. That is, some of my judgments were wrong. And some were wrong. They were made in what I believed at the time to be the best interest of the nation. What do I do to make you want me? Please forgive me. I have sinned against you, my Lord. 
sorry. And I would ask that your precious blood.